Hello Virgo and welcome to your bonus reading. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I'm really happy to have you here. So Virgo, we're going to dive right in. I'm going to start by picking the general energy of this reading. What is supporting you right now for Virgo? I have one here. And another one here. Okay. Clear and simple. The Five of Swords and the Page of Swords. So sword energy, of course, is about the brain, the nervous system, our mind. Um, there's a situation here, uh, Virgo, where it seems like you truly believe that you did your best. You did everything you could. You tried to be um, the best person in a situation. Someone is making you feel like you are not doing enough or you are too much. Um, it feels like your brain is telling you that someone isn't happy with what happened. Uh, this might not be the truth. It, it, it feels like when I see the Five of Swords, there's an uncomfortable feeling mentally that's coming up. Always. Again, having someone making us feel like we did something wrong when with the Page of Swords, I know that you did your best. So the Page of Swords is the hero of the deck. It's like no matter what happens, even if my sword is too heavy for me, I will still fight for what I believe in. Um, I'm willing to learn from mistakes. I'm willing to have intelligent conversation. But if someone is just turning their back and not being clear about what you did or why they feel that way, um, it doesn't really belong to you how they react. So listen, there's a lot going on. This could definitely mean so many things. But I like that just with the power of your mind, Virgo, you know that you did nothing wrong, really. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in the Sun. Things have been um, things have been great. It seems like energetically, I feel like you're definitely able to focus on the good moments. But for some reason, you always go back to that place of what is the goal? Where am I going? What is the bigger purpose? Why are things moving so slow? You could definitely be waiting on something. And in the present moment, trying to, again, enjoy every little moment of happiness. Virgo, you guys are intelligent. You understand that happiness is not just a straight line. It's not just something that we can look for constantly. Moments of happiness, they come. We have to enjoy them, appreciate them. Um, but it's never a straight line. And I think that you guys, more than anyone else, understand that. But there's something here about you waiting you wanting to finally get something real, get some type of expansion. It feels like you've been putting a lot of time and energy into something and you feel like you don't know where it's going. It doesn't take anything away from, again, the happiness and what you've built for yourself, the stability, this comfort, but there's definitely some type of quest here. What is next? What is the goal? What is the purpose of all that? Um, it feels like your patience is kind of running thin. You're looking for an answer, looking for a clear answer from the universe, from your guys. Like, where am I going? And it feels like there's a lot of mystery around that. But seeing the sun as first card, first energy today... You're about to get a lot of clarity about where you're going next. And it feels like there could be someone trying to stop you. There could be someone making you feel like you're not moving fast enough. You're not doing enough. You are not enough. Or again, it could be someone who makes you feel like you're too much. 
Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This card to me is always called like, I am good enough. So this is a confirmation. I don't know. I feel like there's someone in your energy, Virgo, who makes you doubt yourself and it feels pretty heavy. It's not like you're letting them block you from enjoying your life, but it's been it's been uncomfortable for some reason. Knight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Swords. There's a lot of things that you kind of accepted in someone's behavior, Virgo. You accepted maybe the things they said, the things they did, or the things that they said they would do and they never did. There's something here. Um... It feels like you're definitely about to let go of that, move on in a different direction. I'm not saying that it's about a separation, but energetically, there is some type of moving on. When it comes to how someone's word, thoughts, opinion impacts you, that it impacts you a lot for some reason. I think it's someone that you truly care about. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is it. This is the clarity you're about to get about where I'm going. How will I be serving? How will I be moving in the world? What is the bigger purpose? When will I finally be able to express who I am through art, through work, through anything that I'm passionate about? Um, there's something that you're kind of done waiting on. This nine to five, comfortable, slow moving energy, it served you for a while, but it feels like it started to, it's starting to really be heavy on you. You want to be excited, you want to have fun, and you're trying to find these little moments of happiness to enjoy, but you've been so focused on doing the right thing and being the good person for other people. And accumulating a lot of things, honestly. And that's why the Three of Swords is here. Uh, Three of Swords is a card of bravery before anything else. It takes a lot of courage to acknowledge that we're not doing so good emotionally. The things that this person said to you, this thing that this person did or again didn't do, um, I think that you've been incredibly patient. But there's this moment... Um, I feel around the end of September where you're going to have to talk. And I feel like it's going to be really uncomfortable for you because you don't want to um, put more, you know, oil on the fire. It seems like there's a lot of things that you just accept and then you move on. You ignore and then you move on. But there's going to be one situation at the end of September, it feels like there's going to be an important conversation that will be happening. You're going to be telling your truth. And it's going to be really shocking for this other person because, again, um, you've just been taking the punches and saying nothing. But... Spiritually, emotionally, mentally, it's starting to feel like a burden. And there's a lot of things that you're going to have to express. This is really different from the energy that I've been channeling for you in the past couple months. Let's just be honest. This is the accumulation of something. And you using your voice is going to end up being uh, the biggest seed you could ever plant. It's going to be how you open the door to something that feels much more comfortable. We have the death card, the three of wands, and the queen of wands. This is not an ending. The death card is absolutely not an ending. It's a beginning. You are transforming, transforming the way that you receive information, the way that you process feelings. There's a lot of deep shit happening within you, things that you're not sharing with anyone, things that could have felt really uncomfortable talking about, because again, you don't want to seem difficult. There could be someone that makes you feel like you owe them something when you actually don't. 
um, you're going back to the roots. You're definitely more focused by the end of September, starting, you know, October, focused on your inner magic, your inner fire, what drives you, what you're passionate about. There's this independent energy about you at the end of September that feels really special. You are not defining yourself by who you're with. And that's a huge burden that's kind of taking off your shoulder. And it, it's helping you moving forward into the next big thing in your life. Um, I don't know why I feel this energy of you kind of feeling bad or, again, not using your voice because you don't want to make someone angry. You don't want to trigger them. You prefer things to be easy. So you've been kind of just, you know, you shut up and you don't talk about it. You ignore it. You move on. You let go. Um, I think that this is about to be over. There's going to be one moment, again, one conversation or one thing that feels too much. And you're going to have to express what's been going on. You're going to have to share the swords that are on your heart, literally. And again, it takes a lot of courage to do that. It takes a lot of courage to face this ending, this transformation. But like I told you, this is going to be one of the biggest blessings for you. Eight of Wands, you know, communication, you using your voice for something. I do feel intuitively like you've been putting your frustration into something else. Um, either sometimes maybe isolating yourself, working really hard, you know, doing overtime, trying to get out of the house a little bit, trying to get out or your comfort zone a little bit to not think about what's happening in the present moment that feels really overwhelming. And for some reason, I don't know why, there's something about an energy of you feeling bad because you don't want to overlook how lucky you are. You don't want to take that for granted, the chance that you have. When it comes to your personal life, your stability, um, just your life in general. There's a part of you that feels bad for even wanting to complain. But you have the right to complain. There's definitely a situation here where it's, it's going to be too much. This is something really specific. Um, and this is a huge, huge challenge for you. Because I'm talking about years of accumulated energy that wants to be released. And this is definitely the challenge for you. Seven of Swords again. Why are you feeling like what you're doing is not good enough? There's a reason around that. Page of Pentacles in the reverse and the Hangman. I'm going to be honest, Virgo, I feel like you have some type of dream, some type of goal that will take a lot of time, will take a lot of courage. It takes um, a huge kind of leap of faith that you want to take. And you're not feeling so supported for some reason. On paper, it looks like you're supported. But really, energetically, are you supported? Do you feel like... Um, there's something missing here. This is what I'm getting from this reading. It feels like someone is like, I know on paper, it looks like I have everything, but why am I feeling so stuck? Why am I feeling so overwhelmed? And again, a lot of shame around those feelings. I have nothing to complain about. I should just put a smile on my face and move on and be happy and let go. No, um, you are allowed, no matter what is happening in your life, you are allowed to experience frustration, pain, overwhelming feelings. It doesn't mean that you're not grateful for what you have. It doesn't take anything away, again, from your happiness, you being a happy person, you trying to enjoy the moments of happiness. The sun card is still the first card in that reading. And I think that's really important. You know how to hold space in your heart 
for the good people, for the good memories, the good things, the things that you're passionate about, the things that you, you know, you're, you love. But you can't just ignore that something isn't right. And this is what I'm feeling here. Um, with the hangman, to me, this is another ending, another death experience. We have the magician, yeah. Moon in the reverse and the two of wands in the reverse and the magician. You're about to get a lot of clarity on why you have been feeling so stuck energetically. Even if things are moving, even if you're accomplishing things, you are still feeling stuck. It's not enough. And again, you don't want to complain. And I get it. I get why you would feel bad for wanting to complain and having something that just isn't working for you. Um, but it's time that you finally speak your truth. Again, this is going to be you getting out of your comfort zone big time. And when we are willing to get uncomfortable, Virgo, you know that. This is, this is when things move, things happen, and we accomplish, we grow, we expand, and we learn about ourselves. You're about to learn a huge lesson, a huge personal lesson. And it feels like you're reclaiming um, who you are as an individual. Con yeah. Again, Page of Swords, Hierophant, using your voice. You know that you're the only one right now who has the power of change this situation. And I feel like this is all energy. It, it feels a little icky. It feels a little like, again, a stuck, uncomfortable energy. Um, it's not so obvious. I don't think that people around you necessarily see that you're going through an uncomfortable time. Spiritually, mentally, you could be experiencing... If you're, you know, a spiritual person, um, we are all intuitive beings, but sometimes, you know, intuition and spirituality takes much more space in, in some people's life. You could have been feeling really stuck, feeling like your guides are not listening, feeling like you're disconnected a little bit from that part of yourself. It's still there. It's still present. Again, your voice Hierophant, Taurus energy, this is what it's about. Using your throat chakra, making yourself um, be heard. Because it's a birthright, you know? Uh, it's okay to want to complain. It's okay to take more space. This is exactly what I've been feeling with that reading. You have been kind of fitting into some type of mold, and it's, this is like a couple of years, like a while. Um, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to do. Just just shut up and not uh, complain and just go with it. Keep on going. Keep on going. Things are going to change eventually. Um, but you're actually stuck energetically. And the month of September is a huge challenge because you're definitely confronted to that. Confronted to moments where you're like, I cannot just shut up right now i need to speak up or else i'm gonna scream my lungs out i'm gonna lose my shit this is the energy it's like someone who's just accumulated accumulated and now it's like um you could have been you know hiding in a room and screaming in the pillow because you're like it needs to come out you could have been wanting to literally buy a punching bag and, you know, <laughs> punch him. And there's like this frustration that's been building up and it's about to be released. What I like about you and what I like about this reading is that you're going to be releasing that energy in a really healthy way, in a balanced way. And that is one of the lessons you're learning this month this month it's actually possible for you to express yourself to get rid of all that bullshit energy and do it in a healthy way i feel like in the past you could have been someone who is um really intense and really overwhelmed by things like that um you know, making radical decision and being super intense, but there's something really balanced about your energy. 
There's something so rooted in the present moment and it feels good. You want to find happiness in the present moment. You're definitely focused on what is in front of you right now. And this is kind of the hermit work you've been doing, you know, in the tarot, you, you are the hermit. Um, and I think that this is one of the lessons you're learning. How can I make the best about what is here right now in front of me? I can't be pissed off all the time for something that happened six months ago, two weeks ago. And I can't control what's coming up. I can't control the future. I can't control my reaction. And I can't control how I use my voice in the present moment. When something happens, I'm going to say it right, right away. I'm going to be clear. This is too much. This is not making me feel good. This is making me feel overwhelmed. Um, I think that your intentions are pure, but they've been received. Um, I don't know. They've been received sometimes as if you were ungrateful when it's not the case. Because there's something about that. Like you should be happy for what you have. This is, I feel it's something that you hear a lot. And you're like, it's not that I'm not happy. I just, I deserve to be heard. I deserve to have bad days. It feels like you're not giving yourself a chance to have a bad day. You're always supporting everyone. You're always, um, you know, pushing through. But there's this call right now in the present moment, like what needs to come out? High Priestess, Eight of Wands, that's it. This month is a lot about communication for you. Expressing the things that don't feel good anymore uh, and reconnecting with your intuition. Again, if you connect with this message of having this kind of blockage spiritually, intuitively, feeling like you're not so supported by your guides, you're not so supported by the universe, feeling a little bit stuck, this is what's about to change for you. It's not about a fancy gift that the universe is bringing your way. It's not about something so literal. It's definitely a switch in energy. Um, it's all part of this huge transformation that you're going through, apparently. And I think it's highly, highly connected to your spirituality. Highly connected to that. Um finding more balance within yourself, kind of redefining what it means for you to be balanced, what it means for you to speak your truth, what it means for you to move forward. Um, you're taking control, taking control of your destiny in ways that you haven't done before. Nine of cups in the tower. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Dreaming, fantasizing, wanting the best for myself. You know, it's its a birthright. And you've learned a lot. You change so much, so much uh, in the past year, in the past couple months. And I think that you're not necessarily giving yourself the credit. You're not digging deeper. You're just moving on and not necessarily acknowledging that. You need a break emotionally. You've been expending a lot and you've been learning lessons and you've been going through a lot of challenges. But since everything looks good on paper, well, you're overlooking the things that need to be addressed. And it's just going to create this big explosion. Is it going to be stressful? Maybe. Is it going to sting? Maybe. But it's going to be one of the most liberating thing that you ever experience and this is bringing you closer to what you truly want what you truly need what you know you deserve and what you know you have to offer it's going to be inspiring you for creating something it could be a business it could be uh if you're an artist any type of art that you do it could be the inspiration of Finally quitting the job that you're not so happy in or finally asking for a raise, finally making the step to ask for more. This is kind of the, the lesson and, and what's happening for you this month. 
you're not settling for less. You're going to be asking for more and you're going to get more. Because by using your voice, by putting that energy out, it's going to be coming back. And it's going to be coming back tenfold. You're not going to be silenced anymore. And it could end up in, you know, a fight. A, a big conversation that will be uncomfortable. But again, I think that your willingness to get uncomfortable this month is going to be what pays off the most for you. Temperance. Again, it's you redefining what balance means for you. What being patient means for you. What it truly is. Giving yourself the credit. This is you being aligned, mind, body, soul. It's not because um, there's this moment of explosion, literally, with your emotions that you're losing focus and you're losing balance. No, actually, you being clear with what you want, expressing that, even if it's a little rough, a little intense, I feel like this is truly balance because the things that have been accumulating, well, at one point it has to come out. So to me, this is like a huge step again towards balance, towards self-love. Um, it's going to help you. It's going to help you forgive a lot of things. Forgive yourself, making peace. There's this reconciliation energy. So again, it doesn't mean that there's going to be a fight, a separation, this big thing. I feel like it's going to be clearing the air and giving yourself the permission to start fresh. Um, you know, the Page of Sword came out to time. Again, this is to me the hero of the story. You're the hero of this story. But it feels like for a while you've been just... Um, following another person or a group or I don't know, saying yes, being kind of the yes man in a situation. What This is not you. Virgo is a leader, a rebel, a healer, a, such a powerful energy. You know, it, it, it's, it can be overwhelming sometimes to be in the Virgo energy because you guys use your mind in a different way. You guys are really strategic about the things that you do. Um, but you guys are incredibly em empathetic um, and healers. So the energy you accumulate uh, because you absorb all of that um, from other people and you've been accumulating that for years and years, some of you since your childhood, um, it's going to be coming out. It can be coming out as, again, art, something that feels really beautiful, giving literally birth to something. Um, but it can also end up in really difficult conversation. No matter how it turns out, this is liberating energy and it's you getting one step closer to the life that you truly want. A step closer to what happiness really is for you, which is going to look different for, for every one of you. This is a really, really, really special, powerful reading that is not going to be for everyone. But at the end of the day, if there's only one Virgo out there who connects to that message, my job is done. The energy is getting momentum and meditate and contemplate. Yeah, this is it. I think that you are definitely in hangman energy right now. Um, there's a reason why it feels uncomfortable emotionally, energetically, but you're about to release that. You're about to find a way to get much more comfortable with who you are um, because what you have to say matters so much more than you know. And it's time that you step up. I really like that for you, Virgo. This is a really empowering reading. And again, it's not easy energy. This month for you is not about butterflies and rainbows and all that stuff. It's, it's definitely really, really vulnerable, powerful work that you're doing. Um, the change happened within you, but now it's going to be coming out. And it's going to transform everything around you. Um, and I really like seeing that. It's, it's no coincidence that the Wheel of Fortune is the center energy here. It's 
probably one of the best thing you could ever do. Take that break. Demand whatever you want to ask for, you know, just um, make sure that you're stepping out of your comfort zone in ways that you weren't ready to do before. This is the challenge for you this month. And I think that Virgo, you're always up for a challenge. So take care of yourself. Thank you for being here. Make sure to like the video, subscribe. And I hope that this message finds you well, Virgo.